If you want to consistently win in Rocket League, there is one simple thing you need to do. Keep the ball out of your own net. Now, this sounds extremely obvious, like, duh, of course I want to keep the ball out of my own net. But the problem is a lot of players don't really play with that mindset, especially on the offensive end of the field. You see, when players are on offense, it's almost like they completely forget their own goal exists behind them. Now, that might sound odd, but a lot of players will make super aggressive challenges on the offensive end that they have zero chance of winning, and the result of that is the opponents rolling the ball down the field into your own net at approximately 2 miles an hour. Now, how exactly do we fix this? Well, we need to maintain a defensive mindset in all of the decisions that we're making. Because at the end of the day, it's better to miss out on a half chance on offense than to commit for it and end up giving up a free goal the other way to your opponents. So in today's video, we'll be hopping into some of our own games and we'll be talking through how you can make smarter, more defensive minded decisions. Off we go here with game number one, trying to focus all of our decision making on keeping the ball out of our own nets, even when we're on the offensive end of the field. Decent kickoff there. Teammate's going to have that one for free. Let's just pick up some pads, stay involved in the play here. Look at the possibility of going in on this. Not quite looking all that great. Watch the shot coming in. No problem. We're back in time for that. So not an issue. Just force on forward here. That'll be a free ball going the other way. Just pick up some pads and see what we got. Bump that guy off. A little bit of a dive there, but teammate does have a free ball. Let's bump this guy as well. Should give teammate some room to work with in the air. Indeed, it did. Just not quite good enough. Watch what we got coming through here. Play this one back out to the side. Opponent right there. Go ahead and force forward. Teammate's got the free ball right there. Watch behind us. No, the bump is coming. That's fine. Play out to the side. Go ahead and force this guy back. Grab some boost here. Teammate on the backboard, gonna get the save, no problem, we're back in time to support him then. Teammate does get the bump, teammate does get the clear, I didn't need a jump, that's fine, we're right back down to the ground. Play this back out to the side. Stay in front of this ball, don't do anything too crazy. Around we go, give me this boost, no problem, back we go, back to support our teammate here. Teammate, good opportunity, got the catch, got the flick, got the goal! Teammate, well done! You can see we're just not doing anything that's going to take us out of the play there. We're just making sure we're in a position where we can get back to cover our own net should we need to. Not going to look to dive on offense. It's just completely unnecessary. Teammate wins the boost. He's going to have a pretty good chance at a play here. Ball popped up into the air. We're going to get beat to this, so let's just wait. And this is exactly why we wait. So this is fine. We take the 50. Teammate can have that ball then. We're right back in. Ball out to the side, pop up. Don't dive here, just look to force out. Teammate coming through. Teammate with the ball to the backboard, good fake. That is an aggressive dive, little bit ambitious there, to say the least, but it works out. Teammate in control, he's just going to bring that back. That's fine, we'll grab some boost here as we wait to see what he does. Into the air he goes, got the challenge. Put a shot on target, good attempt. Pop this one off the, uh, the sidewall and just turn around. This is fine. 50 that one. Stay close. Not the touch I wanted. Didn't get anything out of that one. Definitely a bit of an awkward situation. But just like that, we recover quickly enough to be involved on defense, which is where we need to be. And we easily get the save downfield. Pressure out. No problem. Missed the bump. That's a bit unfortunate. That ball is going to get cleared. We're right here, though. We'll just stay in front of this. Flick this one down the field. Secure the boost. Teammate in the air already. He's got the ball into the opponent's half. See what teammate does. He's going to leave this. That's fine. Play it across. Trying to recover quickly out of this. We do get bumped quite awkwardly. Teammate does keep the ball in. I can't really turn. We get the boost here. Play this one back in. Look for a bump. We do get him. Teammate should have the ball then or not. That's fine. Opponent doing a nice job of getting that ball out of the defensive half. Watch the shot coming in. Oh, that is on target. I did not think it was going to be. I thought for sure that was why. That's why I was so patient with it. I did have the angle on that save. I just didn't think it was in the net. All good. My bad for misreading that ball ever so slightly. 
It's fine. We'll get it back. Just going to play this one downfield. Apply some pressure here. Stay close to this ball. That works. Out to teammate we go. Pop up into the air. He goes. That is an awkward ball for the opponent's teammate. You got plenty of space. Let's see what he does with it. Keep it in. Off the ceiling. Teammate with the shots. And teammate with the goal. I'm just going to sit in the net. Not move at all. Just let him put that shot on target. We got a good enough challenge. Definitely a bit of an awkward jump in terms of going for that challenge. Would have liked that to be... A bit cleaner, but it's not the end of the world. Teammate's going to have that save perfectly fine. Let's grab like two boost pads. This ball, I'm dead. That's unfortunate. It's not in. Teammate got the clear out. Need to be careful here, though. They're giving me space. Let's not overdo it. 50, that's totally fine. Teammate is back. We'll pick up some boost here. Fake. Good win, teammate. Can I get back to that? It's close. We're dead again. Need to be more aware of what's happening behind us for sure. Teammate back pass. Indeed. We'll pop it back on forward. A little bit of a giveaway of possession to be sure. Into the air we go though. We got the block. Teammate might have a chance here. Actually might have a real chance now. He's going to buy time. I like that. We're just going to pick up pads here while we wait. Two in the air. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Oh, uh, you got two opponents jumping in the air. A fake goes under both of them. Well played, teammate. So, saw them both coming at him and said, nah, let me, let me not deal with you guys. I'll just go right underneath. Thank you very much. Uh, we take a two-goal lead now into the final 30 seconds. Pop that up towards my teammate. As calm, we move up the field here. Uh, looks a little bit juicy, but let's not dive. Need to buy time here for our teammate to get back. Watch the mid-pass. Oh, we're good. We just had enough of the angle cut off. Let's just stay in contact with this ball. Teammate going to have the clear out. No problem. Down the field we go. This pop-up is totally fine. Let's just stay between the ball and the goal. We'll get the save out. No problem. And that will pretty much wrap this one up. Nothing to it. That's a fantastic touch. Actually, back across. That'll be game. So, all in all, there were definitely some uh, awkward moments throughout that game. But you can see that the general idea is that as long as you're keeping your opponents out of your own net, it's pretty much impossible for them to win. Because as long as you score at some point during the game, if your opponents don't score at all, you're guaranteed to win that game. So, that's the mindset we're going for, and we just need to formulate all of our thoughts off of making sure our net stays protected at all times. Game number two. All about being smart with our decision making, not playing like an idiot like I'm known to do. Let's just be smart by scoring a goal right out the gate. Well done, teammate. Great kickoff right there. And we're willing to we're willing and able to jump on in on that because of how awkward the defense looks in that position. Teammate, I'll leave that for you. You can apply pressure there. Just wait here. This is fine. He's not going to be able to score this. I get bumped. Teammate in an awkward spot. Oh, we get back and get the save. Give me this boost. Just take time here. This is fine. Let's control into the air. Go high. That's fine. We're going to recover perfectly quickly here so we can get back. Teammate is back first. That's fine. We'll just force out. Teammate should be coming back. There he is. Take some time to grab some boost here. If teammate can get around this guy, it'll be pretty good. Not quite. Ooh, just barely got that touch. That was very awkward. Very awkward indeed, but that's fine. Teammate on the case for that one. No problem. He's in a race against the opponent. He actually wins it. Can he go again? He can almost. Let's not dive here. And this is exactly why we don't dive, because now we can get the challenge. Stay between... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to, about to make the call. Yeah, let's just stay between the uh, ball and the goal here. Not dive at this. Um, Did not realize the opponent was still behind us. That's on me for a lack of awareness. Not my best moment, to be sure. Uh, interesting demo. That's very nice, what he's, what he's done there. That's fine. Uh-huh. Wait. <laughs> oh, what a game, man. Oh, crazy. I have no idea what the thought process was on the uh, on the blue team there. But yeah, uh, we don't overcommit for that open net, which is, I guess, good. We, we are in a spot where should that guy have gotten that save, we can very easily recover back out of it. He has gone for a demo again. Oh, unfortunate. Teammate had to deal with the smoke screen, so that's a bit tough. But 
They did indeed go for that uh, demo again, and I don't know if that strat's really working. I cleared that right to him. Uh, teammate should win this, though. He does. He gets bumped, though. We'll 50 that. The down bounce is going to be very helpful. Allows teammate to get back. That guy's completely missed the ball. Teammate gets the clear out, and there he goes. He's got the reset. He's got... Oh my gosh, what was that? Bro, whip that ball. That was crazy. Uh, That's fine, yeah. We're going to stay between the ball and the goal. Teammate's going to control that ball, so we'll just wait. What is... <laughs> yeah, okay, man. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let, let, let me just sit back and watch whatever it is my teammate is doing here in the air. There is no way that this guy's a GC2. I refuse to believe it. Or, or he's just not used to getting space. Like, my goodness, he just styled on the entire team, man. You know, it's really easy to make defensive decisions when your teammate does that. Not gonna lie, it's pretty, pretty great. Let's get that clear out. Teammate, wait. Oh, he's possibly reading the play across. That's fine. Saw that clear. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's so... What is this game, man? This game has been something else. Uh, definitely pushed up a little too far. That's exactly what we talk about when we talk about making poor defensive decisions on the offensive end. We pushed up way too aggressively there, and it immediately came back to bite us. That's not in the net. That's fine. Over to the side we go. Let's not dive at this. Let's just force out. Make him make a touch. That's fine. Teammate got the ball. Teammate styling in the air once again. And we'll pop that into the top corner just like that. We got ourselves a two-goal lead teammate. Absolutely doing work. And again, it's all about recognizing when we can dive in based on the defense being a tad awkward. Put that shot on target. And we're good enough. Again, we're not going for anything too risky. Like, we're not taking ourselves off the ground. We're not flying out of the play. We're just staying in a spot where we can immediately attack the ball and immediately recover out of it. Should something go wrong? That's a good kickoff by them. Ooh, what a save, teammate. Just play this out. This is fine. Fours, teammate can get the block. Teammate does get demoed. We just need a pad or two. Oh, hi, teammate. This is going to make things a little bit awkward. We cover enough. Teammate gets the clear. Wonderful. Down the field we go. We got a three goal lead with two minutes left. Don't dive. Don't dive. It's not worth it. This is fine. Force him to play the ball. And we dove anyway. <laughs> uh, genius. Wonderful play by me. Oh, I'm so smart. We love that, though. <laughs> good, good goal, Steel, man. Well done. Well, that's definitely helped out your cause, let me tell you. Uh, teammate might score here. I will. Oh, no, teammate will. Never mind. <laughs> oh, this has been a game and a half, let me tell you, but... You know, it's all about just playing smart. We had that one moment where we uh, did not play smart at all, and it led to an almost open net, one that should have been in the goal for sure, and yet the opponents decided to accidentally save their own shot. Well, it looks like this one is going to be just about done. I actually did not mean to score that. But yeah, it's just really important to consider how you really want to challenge the ball on offense and just how aggressive you want to be. Because the more patient you are on the offensive end, the more easily you'll be able to keep your opponents out of your own nets, and the bigger advantage you will give your team overall in the overall game. And at the end of the day, that's really what it's about, giving yourself as much of an advantage as possible. But yeah, this last eight seconds is going to count down. Certainly an interesting game we've had here. But yeah, overall, I think that's just a very big lesson that a lot of players need to learn, is just be smarter with your decision-making on the offensive side of the ball and really consider how that offensive decision-making impacts how your defense can be structured on the opposite end of the field. Of course, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you who made it to this point in the video, and I do hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you're interested in seeing some more Rocket League tip and coaching content, make sure you click that subscribe button right down below. As with each and every video, we strive to help you guys get just a little bit better at Rocket League. And if you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, or perhaps you just like to be a bit more involved in the community we're building here, feel free to join my Discord, which I'll have linked down in the description, as I do offer free coaching through there. And as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.
Thank you.